how long did it take you to beat Kingdom Hearts 1? If you're like howlongtobeat.com, it probably averaged around 62 and a half hours to fully complete it. You can always check in the menu when you pause or save the game. But have you ever noticed how there's only two digits for the hours? Does a new digit appear when you reach 100 hours? Nope, the clock just resets and changes colors. Turns out the only indicator for how many hundreds of hours you've put in the game is the color of the clock. Even though the clock reset, the game acts like you just started the file. There's no sign that the clock reset in the save menu. And in the 1.5 Remix versions of the game, there's a trophy called Speedster that you get for beating the game in 15 hours. If you let the clock reset, then you can actually get this trophy as long as it reads less than 15 hours. I let the clock run for a bit longer, and found out how far it really goes. At 100 hours, it will change from blue to green. At 200, it changes to purple. And at 300, it changes to this red-pink color. And sadly, the clock never gets to 400 hours. It stops one second before changing, and just freezes forever. After the clock stopped here, I got curious about Kingdom Hearts 2 and how that clock works. Sadly, it just counts up normally to almost a thousand hours, and stays blue the entire time. Here's my tier list of the colors. I'm a big fan of the purple color, so I'm definitely leaving my game on for 200 hours to use it in my next playthrough. I checked some stuff in-game to see if the timer phrasing changed anything. In Neverland, the clock tower actually changes to match your pause menu clock whenever you enter the area. This causes a weird interaction when the clock resets. It jumps from 99 hours and 99 minutes to zero when you re-enter the area, even though only a minute has passed. Once your clock is fully maxed out, it will just look the same whenever you enter the area. This does prevent you from claiming any more of the treasures from the clock tower doors, so make sure you get all those before your clock stops. I also checked some mini games like in the Colosseum, but those timers worked independent of the game clock, so it was normal. Let me know if there's anything you want me to check on this file, and I'll try it out. Looks like this is just something that makes the first game special. Thanks for watching!